Hello, I'm Mike Prindle, Vice President of the Oracle Global Business Unit's Cloud Architecture. Here at Oracle, we use our cloud to power every dimension of our business. We call this philosophy and practice Oracle at Oracle. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you a big Oracle at Oracle story, and that's how Oracle's Global Business Units, or GBUs, transitioned over 60 applications to Oracle IS, and how doing so drove cross-portfolio operational efficiencies and cloud delivery improvements for our customers. The Oracle Global Business Units are a collection of software businesses focused on addressing the unique business problems of 10 vertical markets, resulting in a diverse portfolio of over 60 applications. This portfolio is continually growing through both, both organic development and strategic acquisitions, but its roots are deep within its addressed industry markets. Each GBU provides market leading products in its respective industry, but like most well-established software providers, originally designed its products for on-premise enterprise delivery models. Over the years, each of these products evolved on an independent path, porting to hosting and cloud delivery models as appropriate based on the needs of its target customer base. These trends played out across multiple industry markets in over 30 acquisitions, resulted in a portfolio best defined by its size and complexity. We had many different technology stacks managed by many different teams. These teams worked in over 80 data centers across the globe, often using a set of tools that varied by region. And because our applications served a multitude of vertical industries, our applications had to meet many different compliance standards. In response, we launched a cross GBU transformation initiative intended to bring the entire portfolio to a common cloud standard, both by consolidating an Oracle IaaS and by evolving to cloud native application architectures and delivery models. At the most basic level, what this meant for us was a transformation. The simple act of migration, moving workloads out of legacy purpose built data centers with varying hardware dependencies onto Oracle IaaS resulted in a consolidation down to 11 standard data centers by replacing purpose-built and non-standard locations and technology with a standard stack we reduced infrastructure expense by 64 percent including an 80 percent reduction in capital expenditures for infrastructure in addition standardization in the tech stack unifying an oracle technology similarly reduced complexity in edge cases across our fleet this helps to improve the efficiency of our operational teams and increase the performance and reliability of our service for customers, while also simplifying our expense structure and consolidating our third-party technology vendors, driving a 42% reduction in third-party license expenses. Infrastructure and platform standardization are only the first step of our journey. The next steps involve taking advantage of the scalability, elasticity, and automation of the cloud. By moving up the stack with Oracle PaaS services and re-architecting products for cloud native models. Applications that have already made these investments see, among other benefits, greater than 97% decreases in core operational activities, such as provisioning maintenance and upgrade cycles. I've shared a lot of great results around efficiencies and cost savings with you today. Simply put, it's an exciting time to be on the cloud, and we hope you'll join us.